Okay. Oh, I see some plumes, I think. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, you're probably going to be good when you swing it on this one. Wow, it looks like the whole thing has fallen over. Really? Yeah, because, I mean, this used to be 16 meters high. So it has changed a lot. Wow. wow there's just, oh, there's I mean, it was a massive out. chimney before. Wow, there's just this skinny little one now. It's well, it's gorgeous. still venting. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. For me, I'm, it's completely different. <laughs> it's it is? like yeah. this is tiny compared to what it was before. It, the old chimney must have fallen over and this is regrowing in its place. Well, you see it's on a giant mound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, all that mound is made up of these old chimney pieces. Right. It's the top right. there. Yeah. That's gorgeous. It actually is uh, about 15 meters altitude. Is it? 15 meters still? But, uh, it's just skinnier? Above the base? Yeah, what I'm hitting on the Doppler here now, yeah. Huh. Wow, that is phenomenal. It was maybe, worth the wait to maybe see it. it. Uh -huh. This is just stunning to it see and watch. And you can see all the little shrimp moving along the edges there. I think I see a flange. And then all the squat lobsters down below there. Lots of little spigots. It looks like it's coming down in a different spot over on the right, too. It's not as big. It just looks like a mini black smoker. Yeah, Could right. Be from the there's old. Where all those squat lobsters are, there's shimmering water coming out. Mm -hmm. And there's, a little, there's some smoky fluid coming out behind that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's an anemone on top of that mm -hmm. little stubby thing, huh? Yeah, there's like three of them. Three anemones situated on that oh, yeah. point. Oh, yeah, that's what that, why it looks like a Y, because there's three of them. Huh? Oh, it comes out from all different sides, it oh, looks yeah. like. Very leaky. Yeah. Is that common to have it all over and not just out of one yeah. central location? Mm-hmm. Now, this is interesting, because some of the other chimney sites that we visited nine years ago had had a lot of these really skinny spindly finger like chimneys right? and this but this this chimney used to look like a much more massive thing Holding there. some of those things on the side but this is one that's regrowing in its place and it's kind of growing in that same way the old chimney had flanges this new one does not because it hasn't grown enough look at all those shrimp yeah a lot of a lot of beehive Kind it's of gorgeous. Changes. Such a great shot. It just keeps going. This one's like sticking out into space, huh? Right. Yeah. So what makes these ones black rather than the white ones we saw the other day? Different yeah. chemistry of vent fluid prim primarily and much higher temperature. This vent fluid, well, nine years ago it was over 300 degrees C had big billowing smoky plumes like this. So that hot fluid, and especially in the setting in the back arc, comes out full of metals that it's leached out of the rock under the seafloor. And they're dissolved in the vent fluid when it's very hot. When it comes out into the ocean and mixes with the cold seawater, all those elements that are in solution precipitate out as tiny mineral particles and that's what makes the appearance of black smoke is there's tiny particles and that's what builds the chimneys too is these chimneys are made out of the minerals that come out of the vent fluid as it's cooled is yeah. this one of the larger vents you've seen mm, well <laughs> uh no <laughs> it used to be larger right? yeah just a little and, bit and the one next door Nine years ago, it was 30 meters high, which is giant. You can see all the shrimp gathering, probably eating some of the yummy microbes that right. grow here at these hydrothermal vents. Yeah. I don't know if we have confirmation of if these are some of the same we've seen or if they're different, but some of them are specific to the vent system that they live on. It's gorgeous. Look at the difference between the two cams on the top. Oh, yeah. It's amazing to see that much life on there. Right? I mean, I guess that portion would be cooled down quite a bit, but still. So do the worms. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> yeah. It's just no. that I'm excited. So what reason I'm excited is that this is a group of polychaetes that are only found at hydrothermal vents in the Pacific Ocean. Oh. So it's a whole family of polychaetes that's evolved to hydrothermal vents. We get them on one to Fuca Ridge, one group of species, another group of species in these Pacific oh, Rise. I think there's snails at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, down, and way down at the bottom. Over here, something where, different. 
where it goes to the left, where it goes. Oh, no, they're there. Oh, yeah. Oh, all go, the way up there. Yeah, Let's where see. it goes from white to tan along that yeah, line. Yeah, all the way along there, yeah, those, those little gray The blonds. gray round those things, snails. those are the hairy snails. Really. Happy snail day, guys. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Hey, John. We found it. I'm going to come down. Snail. Okay, Ed, go ahead. Oh, no, I know that. coming in. Here, do, I'll do it again here. No, you. Snail. Oh, my sister snail. taught me this <laughs> holding here. Uh, here, here. Here's another one. Yeah. Clam. <laughs> Look at them all. Yeah. And they can see that all. They're only at the bottom, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, wow. Well, look at the. So they need higher temperature. These snails have symbionts, so they've got to have access to good sulfide. They don't move very much, they're just snuggled in where there's good flow coming through. Yeah, uh, we measured them with there. temperatures up to 47 degrees centigrade in the middle of the snail piles, which is very high for a metazone. Oh, to be a snail in the snail mm -hmm. pile. Yeah. But it was just really exciting to find them also in the Northwest Pacific, which means they managed to distribute all around. So, so you've got a deep history of contact somehow in evolutionary time. And we, I kind of feel like it's when the Kula plate was before it subducted that it was away because the divergence is quite deep. Oh, nice. So these these crabs are nasty little guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly behaved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's often a face-off going in between between the crabs. Look at this guy eating the yep. bacteria yep. off you of the snail, snail shell. Look at that. You could, yes, yeah, you see, like see how the yes. mouth parts are working. Uh, every now and then they try to peel back the shell on the snails, but the, sh the s snail has a very thick leathery covering over its shell and it's it's really quite tough. It seems like th the crabs have a hard time getting through to it. Right. But they're they're just grazing on their, their shell. Yeah, and yep. they're using it to their own advantage. Uh, there, right? And all these Coming out. I think the shrimp. What side of the um, vents are we on now? Uh, it looks like we're on the west side. Uh, west side of the vent? Thank you. Maybe southwest. Southwest. Yeah, because we're looking you. northeast. This is gorgeous. This is exciting. My very first time seeing a black smoker oh, hydrothermal that's vent. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> same thing with me. Same here. Wow. We had a lot of buildup. We did. <laughs> yeah. Say that. Sure it was, it was so worth the wait. wait. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you guys were actually interested. Yeah. 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 Wanted to take it across. You had to make yeah, sure you're dedicated okay. enough to, mm -hmm. to stick it out. Stick it out. Yeah. Pay your dues. All right. I paid them. Coming up I'm a here. Bit. Yes. <laughs>